Hello, my name is Luke Haas, and this is my Omnibus 3 Secondary Tom Sawyer project. The first thing I did was the water rafting. And as you can see here, I had a bit of trouble getting started. The stick wasn't as long enough so, as I had expected, but I ended up getting it figured out. As you can see, this I'm on this raft is a real raft it's a they call it a rubber ducky or like a lily pad and we have it at my house because we can push it out to the middle of our pond and jump off into the deeper areas and do dives and flips and things but as tom story or when he went rafting with huck and joe I'm sure they had an easier time, though they would have been longer. They didn't have this foam raft like I did, and they probably had oars too. This is just a long stick I found in the woods. Alright, here we go. Started figuring it out. Basically, the best way to do it was to hold it like when you're kayaking. So there we go, as you can see, just going back and forth like that. And that ended up being the best way, though I didn't expect it. And the stick was off balance because it was from a small tree. And so one end was a lot heavier than the other. On my right there, that that's the heavy end, to my left is the lighter end. But I figured it out, and my right arm was a lot more sore than my left when I was done. making the turn there and I'm wearing those overalls I used for hunting I just rolled them up and that hat I used when I went to Minnesota at Boundary Waters canoeing for 35 miles this past summer so I've had experience with boating other than just this here and I went there with the Boy Scouts My knees did end up getting wet, and I was hoping to do it standing, but it, I was very off balance, and I ended up just going on my knees and biting the bowl and getting a bit wet. Here, I turned around now, coming back, and you can, as you can see, I'm starting to get sore. My right arm is a lot more sore here. Yeah, I'm resting there for a second. I would guess that that stick's about, I don't know if it's 20 feet, maybe like 15 feet long. Here I am turning back around. There we go, getting that turn. Right, the final straight. And coming up here on the left is my dock. I All right, there we go. I did it. The next thing I did was the treasure hunt. Here's the map. Alright, so I have the map here. And I'm going to be starting from the house. I'm going to walk up the trail. Probably go left to a barricade I have for airsoft. Then up to the obstacle course, the monkey bars. And then over to the X, which is kind of near the treehouse and zipline. And we're off. So I was thinking about this and 
seen now Tom's story when he went hunting for treasure, at least with Huck, they're using, looking by haunted houses and all that stuff, and we don't have a haunted house on our property, but it's near the tree house, I don't know. My parents made this map, we'll see. Coming up on the barricade, the plane. But on a side note, I live in Southern Illinois, so about 100 miles from Missouri and Mississippi River, so that's where Tom was looking, because the book was based. All right. Now I'm approaching the obstacle course. And it should be up here. I don't think it'll be buried too deep. Let's see. And okay, the tree house. Alright, zip line is right there. It's gotta be on this line. Hmm. Is there any turn dirt anywhere? Yeah, but the map, it's on the line. What's this? It's closer. I wonder. Hmm. How near did they go? Haha. <laughs> Found it. The last thing I did was sleep under the stars. There's my setup there. Three hammocks, there's my siblings. I'm on the left. John's on the right, and my sister Claire's in the middle. And there we have my view from the hammock in the morning, which wasn't as well as I had expected. But then there's the sunrise, which wasn't that bit great of a sunrise. But it's something, and that was a view from my house, just because I didn't like that first picture. Alright, that's it. Thank you for watching.